hi everyone. So I'm joined here with Alex today and we're going to be discussing our early learning care with SNA uh, stage one and stage two course. Um, so we've both an offer here on campus starting in September. So Alex, I suppose just to start off, mm -hmm. early learning care with SNA or, or stage one, it's, it's, it's I suppose we're, we're 12 months on the line now, it's a new course and we've one year under our belt. So would you just okay. maybe give us a course overview on that? So if you're interested in doing a course to, be, to work in the area of childcare or as an SNA, this is the course for you. So it's a, it's a two-year course, but you can do, uh, we'll start with first year. Um, and uh, in that course, you'll learn really everything and all the practical skills that you actually need for working in the industry. So things like uh, child development, um, work experience, you learn about the law, um, all of those, how, you know, the practicalities of rearing children, play, so it is a fun course, all of those skills will actually equip you um, so that the time you leave us, you will have um, all of the professional skills and qualities that you need to work in the childcare sector. Uh, some people are interested in working in a creche, in a Montessori school. Um, other people are, work, uh, are thinking about working as an SNA. And of course, now you can work as an SNA in the early years as well as in the primary uh, system. And so this course gives you all of the uh, requirements for those uh, for the employment opportunities. Excellent. So it's it's a broad course in one sense because it opens the doors to a lot of different things. And like throughout the years, we've had people there, as you said, working in the preschools, Montessori, and then working as an SNA. So it's great. It gives you loads of, of opportunities. And I suppose the other things that this award is new as well. So it will be the industry standard going forward then. Exactly. And that's something to bear in mind as well. It is a new course. Um, it's a different from the old uh, course. So if there's people out there in the public um, we're interested uh, in upskilling as well. They can come on to our year two as well. Uh, it's been very popular, and um, uh, it's been favor. I suppose it's been favorably um, looked at by industry as well. And of course, if you want to jump in from the old course, uh, for, if you like, um, into the new course at level six uh, or stage two, as it's now known, um, that's uh, this is also the course for you, and that's very doable as well. Um, and I suppose the nice thing about both courses, whether you just come in and do year one with us and get the SNA or do the advanced certificate and do SNA level six at the year two or as it was known before at level six, um, that's that's something you can do. And if you want to go even further and do your level seven and level eight, again, you may even be really lucky and get advanced entry into higher education then. Excellent. So there's loads of opportunities to yeah. progress on to careers or higher education. And as you said there, I think it's a very important point that Anyone that has maybe done the old award and um, 5M2009, they can use this to progress on to stage two as well. Um, so we say to anyone watching, if they want any information, that just contact us and we can guide you through that, that process. Um, I suppose another big part of these courses in Alex is the work right. experience. Okay, and this is something that is really welcomed by people working in the sector, is the new requirements around work experience. So you have to do 150 hours. You do 50 hours um, from zero to two. And then you do the other 50 hours from two to six and the other 50 uh, you can do them in either setting some people like then to go into montessori um, or sessional services and work there so you really get a broad range of the industry um, throughout the course which is fabulous and um, it, i suppose it gives you uh, it gives you also yourself the um, time to decide what area and what age group you'd like to work with as well so that's something that's really um, beneficial to you as a student also Excellent. No, it's a good opportunity to get the hands-on practical skills of what you're learning in the classroom as well. Exactly. So normally, I think what we do is we leave the, the group will be out one day a week on work experience then throughout the year. That's it. And uh, you'll get your full working day then. And you'll, what you'll really find, I suppose, when you're out working as well, is that um, what we're doing in the classroom then is supported when you're out in the work placement, uh, which really will make um, which is fun as well. Okay, so it takes out the drudgery of coming to class and you can implement what you've done in the class and what we're talking about in, in the work experience as well. And the longer you're in your work placement, that's why the 150 hours is good. Um, in one or more settings is that it's very applicable. And uh, the whole time you're raising, I suppose, your professional profile as well. As what, and that's really what you need going out in the workforce. And I, it also has to be said that this is a time of great change. And uh, there's lots of structural changes uh, re regarding child care uh, in the public. And um, there's a shortage, I suppose, of child care providers nationally. And that trend is going to continue for at least the next five years. 
um, with government support and that. So it's a great time, I suppose, to join the early learning and care sector. Excellent. And I suppose that leads on into the next thing on, on career progressions. As you said, there's there's a there's a shortage at the moment. So there is there is definitely jobs out there. But as we kind of said earlier, there's loads of different avenues. Like I know, for example, SNA, there's a big demand for SNAs, but also I think where a lot of our students would have gone in as AIM workers in recent years as well. Okay. Yeah, and that's something that's new and a lot of people aren't aware of that. When they look at SNAs, they're thinking of the primary set, the primary school sector. But actually we have a secondary school and higher education, but we also have now preschool uh, uh, SNAs, which are known as AIM workers as well. And uh, it is something to consider. So if you are thinking about further education, um, this is the course definitely for you. And that if you feel when you're with us that it's maybe, you know, the first step, then we are going to support you throughout your career. And then if you do see higher education, um, the early learning and care uh, is really just the first step in many, many other different professions, which maybe you hadn't been aware of. Yes, you know, definitely. And as you mentioned earlier, you can also progress on maybe advanced entry into year three of a, a degree. So there's there's loads of opportunities. This exactly. course opens the doors to a lot of different things. Exactly. And we would have we would have past um, students who would have started like that at the level, the old level five program and are now working in um, things like their primary school teachers, uh, speech and language therapists, occupational therapists. And little do they know that just by signing up to do a level five course, that that's the time for it. Um, early learning and care that that's the career that they would have pursued. So uh, yeah, it's a great course and it's a lot of fun along the way. Yes, you know, excellent, loads of opportunities. So I suppose just in the college, uh, just to alert everyone, we have a number of different services. There's free parking on site, there's a cafe on site, every student gets a student ID card, there's career guidance and counselling services available, there's disability support for anyone that might need extra support. There's a very active student council, and Alex, that's something that you're involved in. Do you want to just be very able much, to talk about yeah. So um, we, we do we have a very uh, fun and interesting uh, student council. And if you're considering coming to college, we'd love to see your, your name on the list at some stage. And uh, we do things, um, charitable work. Uh, we've got clubs, societies, um, nights out, and all of those, all, you know, all that make being a student fun. So, and that's that's important obviously we're here for education but there is a fun side to everything as well and i suppose just another avenue there is the erasmus plus program so every year we select up to 50 students to go abroad for two weeks so for example in this course you'd work in the early learning care or, or as a special assistant abroad so again that's fully funded by the eu and that's open to every student that comes here uh in terms of fees uh to check out any funding options as well check out mallowcollege.ie forward slash funding uh, all our courses here, including this our, our early learning care and SNA course, and um, it's open to Susie, VTOS, and back to education allowance if you if this is applicable to you. So again, if you have any questions on those, check out our website or else just contact us here. So that's that's all our information on our early learning.